One more, one more time. time, again. Again, again. <laughs> Engineers Without Borders, University of Delaware chapter, just recently went to the Philippines, specifically in Bohol, Ubuhan. While we were there, we met with the community that we have recently partnered up with. Uh, we found this community through my grandparents that my grandfather actually grew up in. The first couple days we just completed community surveys where we went around and asked as many households as possible what their water situation was, how they felt about it, and how they felt about us being there because an essential part of us coming into a community is making sure they don't feel like we're intruding and making sure that it's a partnership instead of just us coming. And then the next couple days we also did water testing. We did find that most of the water would have failed normal inspections. They had E. coli presence. They were, it had a lot of hardness and a lot of suspended solids, which is bad for drinking and ingesting. We will be planning to do a second assessment trip uh, to go back and make sure that our samples were correct and retest, uh, see if the water's changed or anything, see what the community has done. So we gave them a couple tasks the water council that they've created, we told them to do water catchment um, measurements and just to make sure that they're committed to see how much they've done, how enthusiastic they are, and then we'll hopefully begin implementing after that a sec second assessment trip. But just knowing that there's people out there that don't have the capabilities that we do, being able to bring our capabilities and help so many people is just an experience in itself.